Hello my loves, so today we are doing a get ready with me. I am using my Too Faced A Few of My Favorite Things palette, and yes, it's dancing. Starting out with my Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I'm going to be doing a review on this stuff. You guys, it is amazing. You get the coverage of a foundation. I love, 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 love it. Then I'm going to conceal my under eyes and I'm starting out with my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Pen and using that mainly to brighten under my eyes, down my nose, forehead, and on my chin and I am going to blend that out with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush which I really love this brush for blending out concealer. I never realized how good it was. And then I'm going to take Maybelline Fit Me and I'm going to conceal my blemishes and my dark circles and same thing, blending that out with my Sigma brush. These voiceovers, you guys, make me extremely stressed out, so please just bear with me. I'm going to fumble over myself. There will be awkward pauses. Then I'm taking my Cody Airspun face powder and just setting all of my makeup. Then I'm going to prime my eyes, first taking my NARS Pro Prime, love this stuff and I especially love it when I use it with my Maybelline color tattoo in nude pink and of course we had to make a funny face for no reason this combination is just bomb it works so well at keeping your eyeshadow in place and I did my eyebrows off camera because you guys know I am OCD about them and then I'm taking Anastasia clear brow gel I must say they're looking pretty good today and now for the star of the show. I'm starting out with Chocolate Milk. This is a matte brown shade and I'm just going to be running that through my crease. Really, really like this color. It's a good everyday color and it's also a really good transition shade. Blah, if you do a smoky eye. Then I'm taking Snowflakes. This is a super glittery champagne color and I was kind of afraid of this. I thought it was going to fall out all over the place, but it didn't, and I really ended up liking it. And I just put this on the inner part of my lid, and it was nice and bright. Then I took Soiree. This is a burgundy shade. I ended up not really liking this color, so I kind of just stopped using it and moved on to something else. So this is a step that you could avoid. Then I went in with Crisp Apple Strudel. This is a coppery brown color, and I put that right beside the Soiree shade just to make sure there were no harsh lines. And this color is beautiful. It looks really good all over the lid. Then I just blended everything out to make sure that all those colors were nice and blended. Then I took the star of today, Blue Satin Sashes. This is a shimmery navy blue color. I put that mainly in my outer V, and I ended up loving this color. It's such a pretty blue color. It's not too vibrant. It's not too dark. It is like the perfect blue color. And then I just blended that out. I didn't want it to be too smoky, but I did want a little something going on. Then I took a little bit more of Snowflakes because I felt like I lost some of the brightness with all of the blending. And then taking Blue Satin Sashes on my lower lash line. Didn't want it, again, to be too smoky, but my lower lash line ended up being really intense, but honestly, I kind of loved it. I never do that look, and it was just something different. So here I'm just blending everything out. I did take a little of Chocolate Milk, which was that matte brown shade, just to kind of add a little something. And then I took my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and I'm tight lining, which is so painful to me. I hate it. I don't know how people do it and make it look normal. It's just such like a not natural process. Then I took my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Chaos and I was expecting this to be so vibrant and it was just kind of blah. I don't know. I, yeah, not impressed. It wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, but it was okay. And then I took Pure Glam from the Too Faced palette. I forgot to record a little shot of the shadow, but it's just a shimmery black color and I thickened up my lash line. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and move on to mascara. And I am using the Better Than Sex, blah, Better Than Sex mascara, there you go. 
And this is the one that comes with the palette. It is such a good mascara. I am so impressed with it. I mean, just look how good it makes my lashes look. It's volumizing. It's lengthening. It really is a nice mascara. I think I'm actually going to buy the full size. Oh yeah, get it girl. Then I'm taking Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara. The wand on the Better Than Sex Mascara is way too big for my bottom lashes. So I ended up using this one and I think it looks pretty nice. Then I'm taking Snowflakes and brightening up my inner corner. Oh yeah. Then I took Benefit's Highbrow just to brighten up under my brows and this is a foolproof product you cannot mess it up it's so easy to use I've been using it for years then I'm going in with cream colored ponies and again just brightening up the area under my looking normal brows and then I went in with chocolate soleil this stuff you guys it there you go. It smells so good. It smells like chocolate and it blends out beautifully. It is such a nice bronzer. I'm really in love with this palette. I know this video is not sponsored. I just have an obsession. Then I'm taking Raindrops on Roses. And again, this is seriously becoming one of my favorite blushes. It's such a good everyday pink color. Love it. I've been using it a lot lately. It's one of my favorite things from this palette. Oh, I'll get it. Favorite things. Then I'm taking Coquette, and this is actually a pinkish silver eyeshadow, but I used it as a highlighter, and I think it worked out pretty well. It ended up looking really nice. And moving on to lips. I'm starting out with Maybelline Toast Lip Liner. This is just a nude pink color that I use pretty much every day of my life. And then keeping with the Too Faced trend, I took Nude Beach, which is one of their La Cremes. It is so moisturizing, and it's just a really good everyday nude shade. Then I took NARS Turkish Delight on the center of my lips just to add, just to add a little something something. And then I sprayed with my Urban Decay setting spray, and now to do something with this weave. I'm taking Rock Your Hair Big Hair Powder. This is a texturizing powder. I ended up using way too much. But I just put that in and then kind of fluff everything around, and that's pretty much it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I ended up loving how my eyes turned out. Actually, my whole face looked pretty good that day, if I do say so myself. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time.